and we know that wrongdoing can happen anywhere. No one must be above scrutiny. That's an excellent time for me to intervene, Secretary of State. A number of us would like to be on this platform, but we've been kept back by DFID and your attempts to control the women who are speaking out in this sector. Very eloquently put by Paula Donovan, who refused to get on a plane last night to come to this summit. She had asked to speak. Other women I am in touch with have also asked to speak at this summit to talk about the real change that needs to happen. And we have been kept back. We have been willing from the outset to do this hard work. We have heard this morning from excellent panels that women have been doing this work for decades, unheard, unseen. We do not need fancy new systems. We do not need technology. We need systematic change. We need to understand the sexism, racism, and abuse of power that happens from the very top of the leadership. And I was disgusted to learn on my way here to this morning's summit that Save the Children will be awarded a headline project to try and tackle sexual misconduct in the sector when they are still under investigation by the charity committee themselves. This silencing and use of us to come along to a summit as part of your audience and not to have any truth to power is what compels me to come up here and speak to you in person. It was very clearly put that there would be no time for questions and answers this morning. This platform is not, I'm afraid, for you today. It is actually here for the people who have been doing this work. I am angry enough to be here. I have left the sector. There is nothing in this about fame or fortune. This is about really giving truth to power. And I do not feel that I have seen anything from what you have been coming out with in your pre-cooked summit solutions to tackle that. Okay. Um, well, thank you for saying that. I think that um, uh, I have to say uh, from a personal basis that I was not aware until I saw Paula's letters this morning of this situation. And I think the words that the previous panel uh, outlined in that uh, unless we are ensuring that uh, all are able to not only contribute but also um, uh, set the agenda that we haven't done that as well as we should have done that. From my perspective, I think that we have made some good progress in the last few months. I think we do need to put in place new tools and systems and work with law enforcement, but that is only one part of it. I think those are the basics and the foundations that we want this summit to outline uh, today. Uh, and we want to get uh, every part of the sector to make commitments. Um, what I can do today is I will give up the summary slot of this summit uh, to you or colleagues that want to speak, uh, if you would be happy with that. Um, there is, uh, and I think I speak for all of the donor nations that are in that uh, group, we want to do this well. Um, we won't be perfect in what we set out to do, um, but we have to do it uh, to our best ability. Uh, and we want to ensure that we are really tackling these issues. So there are some, some dry things that um, need to be done. We need to build new systems. We need to work in law enforcement. Some of the projects that I have uh, given you the headlines of in this speech will be building capacity in developing nations, putting their criminal records on, online, doing all those very practical things. But we have to uh, be led and guided in this by uh, the victims and survivors. Um, and the uh, only way we are going to do this well is if we include them. So you have my absolute assurance on that. I'm sorry that I wasn't aware of the specific issue with Code Blue until today. Um, and I will ensure that that uh, doesn't happen again. Um, but I will give you, uh, or any of your colleagues who wish to speak, uh, the end session of this summit. I think it's appropriate. Thank you. I think it's appropriate that we, we started this summit by hearing the voices of the victims. And I think it's probably appropriate that we close with that. So I, I hope that is okay with, with you.